game fans! Now, the other night I crawled into bed at one in the morning. My arms were like lead, and I, as I slept, I just thought of these stars dancing through the sky to Beethoven's Fifth. Uh, no, it was not a drug induced coma. It was me playing Disney's Fantasia for about five hours. Uh, and I, this has been sitting in my library for a, a good while since a 50% sale. I got it for my girls, uh, I tried to play it with them, but then trying to learn this new game whilst trying to teach two toddlers how to play this new game was just uh, too many Kinect players spoil the experience. But uh, I finally got some time all to myself and I sailed through the single player campaign. Uh, I got through to see the uh, Grand Master Wizard Yen Sin, or whatever his name is, Yen Sid, uh, and from then on I played it for hours and hours and hours. And to be honest, I had a really good experience, so I wanted to share with you my review of Disney's Fantasia on Xbox One. There you are. At last, the new apprentice. Much has been said of your musical potential. Of course, you can't believe everything you hear. In Fantasia, you are a young apprentice wizard looking to master the art of music and movement. By following on-screen stars and particular prompts, you act like a godlike conductor making magic on the screen as the music plays. Miss a cue and silence ensues. The music ranges from classical to prog rock to modern pop, and you will find us yourself waving along to the likes of Tchaikovsky, The Police, Queen, and even Lady Gaga. Every piece varies in difficulty. Once you get it, the game is deeply satisfying, and it's easy to feel the magic in every swipe and gesture. However, it's probably best played in short bursts, unless you're eager to try and lose your bingo wings, as it can be quite a workout. The moves vary from simple swipes to more complex grab and move gestures, and they even include three dimensional puzzles uh, that need to be twisted and unlocked. Whilst the main performances are conducted on a starry back background for clarity, your adventure spans six different regions. And if I remember rightly, these are called the Reef, the Neighborhood, the Hollow, the Havens, the Cosmos, and I think the later one is the Shadows. There is a loose narrative to follow that sees a malevolent force known as the Noise threaten the different regions, and with the Grand Wizard Yen Sid missing, it's up to you and fellow apprentice Scout to save the day. You will tickle tortoises, you will spin seahorses, and you will uh, engage and interact with all the different regions, as every different environment has elements that can come alive with your gestures. For those not looking for a story, there is simple uh, points games where you quite simply just choose a song and go for the perfect performance. The game is not for everyone, and you have to put in the time in order to get the most out of it. I am a fan of Kinect games, and in this field, Fantasia is extremely polished. The overall theme and feel is in line with Fantasia's style and messages, and I remember the original Fantasia, and it made classical music more accessible to me. Uh, and as the Sorcerer's of, of Apprentice, the, the planets and the dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies meant nothing to me before seeing the Fantasia movie. Fantasia Music Evolved on Xbox One tries hard to make classical music accessible to the digital generation and I applaud it for that. Sadly, the dark shadow of DLC looms over Fantasia Music Evolved as there is lots of additional tracks all available for a price. The last count I think was about 18. But however, as this is the first outing for the series, I think they should have bundled more with the game, as the arm-waving levels do not feel as choreographed as, say, some of the Guitar Hero games. In that, each finger note has to be in exactly the right place at exactly the right time for you to get various difficulty settings. In Fantasia, it's probably just as difficult, but it's just swipes on a screen, so there's, there's more room for interpretation. Overall, Fantasia does give players a sense of magic and it definitely gets you moving. Once you break through all the tutorial levels, there's lots of fun to be had. Sadly, there is an over-reliance on pop music 
and too much uh, is offered as DLC. Harmonix could have easily bundled in 30 more well-known uh, out of copyright classics uh, to beef up the setlist. Ultimately, I was really hesitant to play this game, and I don't think I am alone. However, the concept works and the game mixes magic with music to create a very unique, unique experience. Children may enjoy it more than adults, but Disney fans will definitely not be disappointed. Ah, my new apprentice. Welcome. I am Yen Sid, Master Sorcerer. I have summoned you here, for I see great potential in you. Potential to master the magical art of musical creation. Finish him! 